Hey guys, kind of on the same lines as a carpentry tip, I want to use this video to talk to you about tips for staying fit in the trades. Chances are you lift heavy, awkward things from time to time, and then you probably go climb a ladder with them or go up a flight of stairs, right? What you have is what I would call on-the-job strength, which accountants could never achieve in a cubicle. You develop it because your jobs are hard. And because of a lot of construction workers don't exercise on a regular basis, they develop whatever strength or function that they do at work. And this results in some areas getting super strong and other body parts suffering. And it's not a balanced system. And this is why we see a lot of contractors and construction workers with beer bellies and back issues. They're as strong as an ox, but they, you know, they're suffering from lower back pain. Or Lower back pain is one of the most common uh, injuries among the trays, as well as shoulders, necks, knees, and ankles. I have all of the above. These ailments and injuries can be devastating to a person's career uh, or finances, uh, quality of life, of course, and it can even force somebody into retirement. I know a couple guys that had to retire for back injuries. In this video, I want to discuss functional strength training. All right, look, what do I mean by functional strength training? Well, by functional, I mean working your muscles to prepare them for the daily tasks, simulating common movements that you do at work. So. So while using various muscles in upper and lower body at the same time, functional strength training builds core stability that's going to help your back, it builds overall strength. For example, the back squat and the deadlift are functional exercises and um, it trains the muscles used when you're getting up and down from a chair or picking up heavy objects like a, a, an 80 pound bag of cement. By training your muscles to work this way, uh, in the way that they do every day in a job site, you prepare your body to perform well in a variety of situations. So some exercises, first I want to talk about gym machines. Stay away from machines and just use barbells and dumbbells and your body weight. Like the back squat, the overhead press, and the deadlift, they produce way more training stimulus than any machine-based circuit. So just stick with those. I try to think about movements at work and then integrate them into my training routine. And, and here's a few examples. For example, a push-up or a press. Great fitness exercise, right? Um, the push-up or a, maybe a bench press could simulate pushing or moving equipment in place. Builds upper body chest strength. The back squat, phenomenal exercise. Super beneficial to overall strength, but it helps with stuff like picking up you know, cinder blocks or concrete or even picking up a window and moving, you know, equipment around. Hell, it helps with everything. Then there's the deadlift. It could be done with barbells or dumbbells. Same benefits as the squat. It's one of my favorite exercises. It's especially useful for just bending down and picking things up. The proper way of picking things up. And good for core strength. There's also the row, right? So uh, a lot of people think of bent over row, barbells or dumbbells. Uh, they can be done either way. In the video, uh, you see me doing alternating dumbbell rows. These are used to build your back, your shoulder, your lat strength, um, and it simulates picking things up. Think of picking up a toolbox or, or maybe material and moving things around, stacking lumber. Uh, overhead press, when you're pressing overhead. Think about, uh, that's going to be shoulders and upper chest, but think about uh, installing a window, putting a window in place, upper kitchen cabinets, or even crown molding. Then we talk, um, we can look at the step up. Step ups. I typically use on a, um, like a stool and it simulates climbing a ladder of stairs. If you hold some dumbbells in your hand, you're going to add tremendous difficulty which simulates carrying tools up the stairs. Um, another one is the farmer's walk and that's where you see us carrying these dumbbells in our hands and walking around. Phenomenal for grip strength. Simulates carrying toolboxes, materials or anything that you might pick up and carry. Then, of course, there's the all-American pull-up or chin-up. I do pull-ups. It's a great compound exercise that's going to build overall upper body strength. Great strength builder, shoulders, lats, back, everything. Look, remember, muscles rarely work in isolation on the job site, so training them to work together is more effective to build functional strength and prevent injuries, and that's really what we're looking for. 
As a side note, I also try to mix in in my workouts high intensity interval training. They call it HIT training. This is a training technique in which you give an all out 100% effort through quick, intense bursts of exercise. You might follow it up with shorter or short, sometimes active recovery periods as well. This type of training, this HIT training, it gets and keeps your heart rate up and burns fat way faster. Um, HIT training is how I personally keep the beer belly at bay. I didn't say away, just at bay, and is a topic for another day. Overall, guys, this takes discipline. Okay, I get it, right? I get it. You guys work hard all day on the job site. You go home, the last thing you want to do is go do more work. But you have to. Schedule three days a week using the week weekend as one day and work on functional fitness. Plan 45 minutes of workout. First 15 minutes is warm up. And all you do is just do the same exercises, just super lightweight until you start to warm up and get a sweat. I don't think I need to convince you guys that you need to exercise or exercise is important. You just need to be disciplined and schedule the time. And that's really what it comes down to. Schedule it. I bet you schedule time on Sunday to watch football with your buddies and drink beers, right? Same thing. Schedule gym time. I think of it as the, the payoff here is regular functional exercise is integral in staying in shape and staying, uh, basically staying fit to prevent injuries and, and make you way more productive on the job site. Some of the benefits that a lot of folks don't think about when you, when you do functional exercises, you're going to increase your muscle endurance, which makes sense, the ability to res resist fatigue on the job site. Think of moving materials, right? You're going to increase your uh, aerobic and functional capacity to complete daily tasks, and you're going to most importantly reduce your likelihood for injury lower back pain and disc injury. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Its purpose was not to preach or show you how to properly exercise, but to impress on, on what you should be thinking about on how functional fitness and the job site connect. I promise you, as you add functional fitness exercises to your workout, you'll see improvements in your ability to perform your job on the job site, as well as improve your quality of life. I guarantee it. Uh, and look, that's quite an investment or quite a return on your exercise investment if you think about it. All right, just a quick note. Um, I put this video together with the help of my friend, Matt Hedrick. Now, Matt is a contractor, and uh, he's actually a project manager for Zaveda Custom Homes. I think they're in Pennsylvania. He's also a certified trainer. He has similar hobbies that I do, and we've become friends on social media. So, Matt, thank you, sir, for helping me on this video. Everybody, if you liked these shorter video tips in this particular video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell right there. Don't forget to follow Concord Carpenter and Toolbox Buzz on Instagram. We'll see y'all later. Stay fit.